Hey everyone, it's Marbles! So welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing some more Emily in Paris. This is going to be part 2 of chapter 6. So I really haven't uploaded a video in a few days and it's tearing me apart. So I really gotta get this video on the channel. I really hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. And if you are, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel and it keeps me motivated. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So if you guys are not having a good day, I really hope that this video cheers you up. Alright, here we go. Let's finish chapter six. Alrighty, it's pretty warm in here too. Making as little noise as possible, you slip behind the curtains. Just before Mindy finishes counting, Charlie pulls back the curtain. He motions for you to scoot over and you have no choice but to silently make room. <laughs> come out, come out, wherever you are. Charlie grins, holding up a finger to his lips as Mindy's footsteps grow closer. She pauses for a moment, just inches from you, then you hear her slowly leave the room. Phew, that was close. Charlie, you almost got us caught. I'm glad you found me. I'm finding another hiding spot. Let's say I'm glad you found me. Actually, let's say you almost got us caught. I thought for sure Mindy was going to get us. Charlie laughs, shaking his head. No way, I'm far too stealthy for that. Footsteps approach, and you both fall silent until they fade away again. Charlie turns, his expression more serious than usual as he studies you. What is it? Something in my face? Thinking about kissing me? Oh my god. Worried about being caught? Let's say kissing. Why not? I know my lips are very distracting. <laughs> Charlie smirks as his gaze falls to your mouth. <laughs> Oh, I haven't stopped thinking about kissing you again since the moment we stopped. He reaches out to brush his thumb to your lips, emphasizing his point. But before we get to that, I wanted to make sure you're doing alright. I know everything going on with the bookshop and your building can't be easy. I'm sorry you're having to deal with all that. He nudges your shoulder with his own. But for what it's worth, I think if anyone can find a way to fix it, it's you. Charlie's steady confidence in you makes you smile. Thanks, Charlie. I hope you're right. Let's change the subject. I think so, too. I think so, too. There has to be a solution. I just have to figure out what it is. You know, I usually come up with my best ideas when I'm relaxed. He moves closer, an inviting smirk on his lips, and I can think of a few ways to help you unwind. Oh! He leans in, his words tickling your ear. We have to be quiet, though. <laughs> oh! There's a wicked gleam in his eye as his hand slides up your thigh. I hope that's not a problem. Mmm, that depends on you. I can be quiet, I'm not in the mood. Oh my god. Let's say I can be quiet. Don't worry, I won't make a sound. The hunger in Charlie's eyes grows as he leans in. We'll see about that. He brings his lips to your neck, tasting, teasing. Mmm, so delicious. You bite back, or er, yeah, you bite back a groan as he grips your thigh, possessive and eager as his lips move to your jaw. He slides his other hand to the back of your head, tilting it backwards, leaving you open to him. You suck in a breath as his teeth graze your skin, his hand climbing higher and higher. My god, you look sexy right now. <laughs> you know you're supposed to be quiet if you don't want to get caught, right? Mindy laughs as you and Charlie both freeze. Oh shit. You might as well come out. I can tell you're behind the curtains. Cheeks flushed, you're ready to accept defeat, but Charlie shakes his head. You hold your breath as his lips graze your ear and he growls. <laughs> come find me later. I'm not finished with you. <laughs> he winks, and before you can stop him, he bursts out into the open. Catch me if you can! Stifling your laughter, you wait just long enough for Mindy to chase after him. Get back here! Not wanting to waste his sacrifice, you slip from behind the curtain and race to find a new spot. So we're still playing? Did she not find my ass, though? I guess you gotta be tagged out? 
Champagne in hand, you slip into one of the bedrooms <laughs> as silently as possible. You sneak into the closet and begin to slide the door closed. But a hand reaches out to stop it just before it shuts. Mind if I join you? It's Audrey. <laughs> Audrey grins, a mischievous gleam in her eye as she gestures to the small space behind you. This is an important decision. Oh god. From one lips to another. Audrey! Hurry up and get in. Seven minutes in heaven. Find your own hiding spot. <sighs> Hurry up and get in. You told Audrey to join you. You're going to get us both caught. Suddenly, Mindy's voice sounds from just outside the bedroom door. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Without hesitation, you yank Audrey into the closet, sliding the door shut behind her. You both stifle your laughter as she crashes into you. Shh, we're gonna get caught. She laughs into your shoulder, one hand steadying herself on the wall beside you. Are you always this competitive? I just, um, like being alone with you. Want to beat Charlie? Like winning? Um, let's say, uh, let's want to beat Charlie. Why not? After all that trash talking, no way I'm letting him win. Audrey laughs lightly as her eyes find yours. Right, Charlie. Uh oh. You shift, your chest brushing Audrey's, and suddenly very aware of how close you are. How alone you are! Oh lord. I'm glad that you're here. She smiles and it's completely open, unguarded. But before you can respond, the bedroom door opens and you both fall silent. That must be Mindy. I don't want to lose. I don't want this to end. What a relief. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't want to lose. If we're quiet, maybe we can still win this. As if reading your mind, Audrey holds a finger to her lips, but your silence is futile. Steps approach, and the closet door slides open, revealing... Taylor! It's Leah. Leah, what are you doing here? Her expression is unreadable as her gaze slides over you. Then Audrey, who has gone pale. I see you've met my daughter. What? Oh my god, Audrey is Leah's daughter? Oh my god. Alright. Well, I didn't want to do this, but I guess we kind of have to do seven, right? I don't know. Okay, I guess we'll just go right into seven. This can be six, two, and seven, one? I don't know if that's a good idea. Maybe it's not. So we'll just say um, that this is going to be the end of this one, and then we'll start the next one, like, right now, so... <laughs> Till the next one, bye.